Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I really enjoy talking about and predicting future products from Toyota and Lexus. And I have been talking about the new generation Lexus GX, which should come out sometime in 2023 calendar year. And I have done a three-part series video on it. Part one deals with exterior design and my prediction for what the exterior might look like. I even came up with a rendering. So if you haven't seen that video yet, please watch part one before watching this one. And then part two is the interior prediction in terms of functionality, features, and what the design might look like. And if you haven't seen that one either, please watch part two before watching this one, which is part three. In this video, we're going to predict what the new Lexus GX might be in terms of powertrain. So let me talk about what I think will happen in terms of the engine, which is the most important part of the powertrain for the new generation 2024 Lexus GX. So let's get right into it. Okay, what about the very important aspect of the new GX, which is the powertrain? Well, right now in the 2022, we have this proven and reliable 4.6 liter V8 engine with 301 horsepower and 329 foot-pounds of torque. So that's actually pretty sufficient for the current model, but not keeping up with the competitors. So we are suspecting and expecting Toyota slash Lexus to get rid of this and to adopt the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 from the Lexus LX, which is also in the new Tundra. Now, because there has to be some differentiation in terms of power and torque between this and the Lexus LX, we think, or I think, the new engine will be the detuned version of the 3.5 twin turbo V6, which is used in the baseline or base model of the Tundra. So that will have slightly less horsepower and torque than the Lexus LX or the Tundra, but still pretty good power. It will be a lot more than what we have here in this current V8 engine, and it will likely be mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. So that will be the single biggest change for the new 2024 GX, because we have had this uh, V8 engine for so many years, and people love this V8 engine. I love this V8 engine but the time has changed for uh, something that can provide better fuel efficiency. So yes, we're going to get 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, which by the way is actually a 3.4 liter, but they mark it as a 3.5. And what about the hybrid? Well, we already know that the um, 3.5 or 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 can be uh, made to a hybrid system, which we have in the new Tundra, not yet available in the Lexus LX. So I think we will definitely have a hybrid system um, combining the 3.4 with uh, a motor to give it another extra power. Maybe when the new GX first comes out for 2024 model year, it could just be the 3.4 liter twin turbo V6 with no hybrid. And usually they'll wait a year or so to bring the hybrid model. So that could happen uh, not too far away into the future. And then perhaps maybe beyond that, we could also see a full electric version of the GX or at least the prime or plug-in hybrid version of the GX as well. One of the reasons why I'm sure it's going to be a twin turbo V6 is because Lexus trademarked the um, number or name Lexus GX 550. And as you know, the Lexus LX is LX 600. So it's going to be something close to the Lexus LX in terms of the engine, but not as much power indicating the 550 to the 600 number system. And that's why I'm very sure it's going to be a twin turbo V6 with a detuned uh, power and torque compared to the Lexus LX. But of course we could see a 550H or 550H plus, something like that down the road. Of course, those are something that we don't know yet. So that's the powertrain and uh, it will be also be uh, sitting on top of a new TNGA F platform, which is being shared with the Lexus LX and Tundra and Sequoia and all of the future um, body on the frame models such as uh, Tacoma as well. So everything will become a TNGA F platform, uh, including the new Lexus GX. I know that many of us will not be happy um, letting go of the V8 engine, but knowing what's happening in the world today, I think we also welcome the fact that the new GX needs to have a better fuel efficiency and dramatically improve that capability without sacrificing power or torque. In fact, the twin turbo V6 should give you more power, more torque, 
and better fuel efficiency all at the same time. So while we might be concerned that we're moving from a naturally aspirated engine to a twin turbo V6, we should also be very happy that uh, the change is very welcome right now. So let me begin to summarize the whole thing about the 2024 Lexus GX. It'll be based on a TNGAF platform. I think it will still be built at uh, Tahara factory in Japan because there's no reason to move away from that factory and it needs to be built along the side with the Land Cruiser Prado and that's definitely staying Tahara factory. So it should continue to be built in this plant which is perhaps the best factory in the world. So that's a good news. It's going to get a detuned version of the 3.4 or 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 passed on from the Lexus LX slash Toyota Tundra with less power than the LX, but still plenty of power slash torque than what we have right now, which is a V8 engine. It should be then made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission uh, that's riding on top of a uh, improved and re-engineered and redesigned suspension all the way around. Perhaps we will get um, at least a hybrid version a year later, who knows, maybe even six months after the initial introduction with potential for something like a plug-in hybrid down the road so it could be the gx 550 is the standard twin turbo v6 and maybe 550h is the hybrid and maybe 550h plus is the plug-in hybrid we don't know those things yet that's just my prediction at this point and i expect the exterior to retain and maintain some of the lexus feel but become more off-road capable and off-road looking so it could be following the themes along the lines of the land rover defender a Mercedes G-Wagon with a rugged look. We don't know exactly what that means yet because it still needs to look like a Lexus. So that means retaining the spindle grille, but maybe there's a wider stance, a big fender bulges, and maybe something interesting with the headlight to make it look like that type of a kind of fully capable off-roader that is different from the current version, even though the current model is actually quite capable in terms of off-roading. The interior should be fully upgraded with digital clusters and digital instrumentation, a bigger 14-inch screen with upgraded technology throughout, even uh, electric door handles and a fully digitized system such as a head-up display and uh, autonomous or semi-autonomous system in terms of adaptive cruise control and the latest Toyota or Lexus Safety Sense 3.0. That's what I would expect to happen. The wheels and tires should also get bigger, maybe a little bit more uh, bolder in terms of design. And the overall dimension should be longer, wider, but maybe not taller because the current GX is already quite tall. And because of the expected larger dimension, we should also get a larger interior space, especially way in the back for the third seat because that's always been somewhat cumbersome in the Lexus GX. Perhaps we will also get a slightly more uh, aggressive design in terms of the interior for the seats in terms of the buttons and control might look a little bit different. And I'm sure we'll get a whole bunch of interesting technology upgrades with improved Mark Levinson stereo, a digital rear view mirror, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to be interesting to see how far Lexus will take the GX to the next level in terms of technology, because Toyota slash Lexus tend to be quite conservative in that matter and not take a huge risk with uh, unproven technology. In terms of timing, we don't know for sure exactly when. I suspect sometime in 2023 calendar year, which means that maybe we will see some kind of preview or at least a sneak peek, maybe spring of 2023 with a full introduction, maybe the fall of 2023, and then finally arrival at the dealership end of 2023 or early 2024. That kind of makes sense to me based on everything I have been investigating and studying about the new Lexus GX and understanding Toyota's timing for new model introductions. Personally, I'm really looking forward to the new GX because I have a deposit on one. As you know, I have a deposit on many different models, but this particular one is the one I'm really interested in because I always loved Lexus GX. I've owned two previous ones in 2015 and 2017, and I love the whole thing to do with Lexus GX. But I know that the current version is beautiful but outdated and therefore I'm looking forward to buying the new model sometime next year. At that point, if I still have a Toyota Tundra TRD Pro, maybe I'll trade that in for the Lexus GX. 
well, who knows what's going to happen next year. But for me personally, I think that will be a really interesting buy and interesting purchase to have in 2023 calendar year. So that's all I have now for you guys in terms of predictions for the new Lexus GX. I'll continue to uh, give you guys more information, insight as I gather them or as I make further predictions because all of us are looking forward to the 2024 Lexus GX. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up or at least make some comments below and we can continue to converse and have a discussion about what the next generation Lexus GX might be like. Thank you so much. I'm signing off for now. We'll catch you later on.